I'm Dr. Lenore Coleman, president and founder of Healing Our Village. I am here tonight at the Harlem Renaissance at the Morrill Center in Clayton County. It's actually being held by the NAACP Clayton County chapter. And we're here doing blood pressures. We're also doing body fat testing and we have an informational booth as well. Um, we're here because there's gonna be so many people in this audience that need to hear the message of Healing Our Village. We focus on diabetes. There are 30 million people in this country that have diabetes. Of that 30 million, there is about five to six million that don't even know that they have it. This is so important for you to know. If those folks actually get in to counseling, change their lifestyle, change what they eat, change their exercise, they actually can prevent getting diabetes. They can go from pre-diabetes back to normal blood sugar. So Healing Our Village is all about that. We do disease management, mostly for hospitals. We work with doctor's offices. We have done work with um, IPAs, which are independent physician associations, ACOs, and Medicaid health plans all over the country. We're doing work currently in Los Angeles, in Washington, D.C., and here in Atlanta, Georgia. So we're here in the ATL trying to bring our services to you. I'm Dr. James R. Gavin clinical professor of medicine at Emory University School of Medicine in Atlanta, Georgia, where I also have had the privilege of serving as chief medical officer for Healing Our Village, a contract health education and health care company that provides patient management for chronic diseases in high-risk minority populations, particularly urban populations. And our companion organization, the not-for-profit Total Lifestyle Change. And I will refer to them as HOV for Healing Our Village and TLC for Total Lifestyle Change. And Total Lifestyle Change, or TLC, actually detects and finds the diseases that HOV then provides management services and educational services in support of. These two organizations are dedicated to reducing health disparities and to improving health and health outcomes in disproportionately affected minority populations. We're talking about major chronic diseases, debilitating, expensive diseases like diabetes, hypertension, cancer, asthma, arthritis. Our organizations are focused on making sure that people do what needs to be done to prevent these diseases where possible and to treat them in ways that produce optimal outcomes. We provide patient and provider education and we provide direct patient management assistance for populations that are disproportionately affected by chronic diseases using up-to-date, state-of-the-art methodologies and medical information. We have shown through what we've actually done that we can significantly improve outcomes in these high-risk populations. And for these kinds of efforts, we need to have the ability to have broader impact, which is why we make such uh, a direct appeal for your support and for your engagement. HOV works through a contract mechanism, but we need to have that kind of engagement. TLC is a voluntary educational advocacy and screening organization, which depends completely on uh, donations for uh, its support. And we need that kind of support to address these major health disparities that are ravaging our communities. Disparities that are receiving uh, inappropriate amounts of attention, but that's what we do through HOV and TLC, and we urge your support. Hi, I'm State Representative Kim Schofield, and I represent Clayton County. I sit on the delegation of Clayton County. I represent the city of Forest Park. I also have uh, East Point, College Park, Southeast Atlanta, and Hapeville. As a state official, 
I'm here tonight for the NAACP Harlem Renaissance. Yes. I'm here today to really speak about how we need to get our health under control. One of the number one things that uh, is actually affecting African American women in particular is hypertension and diabetes is a big plague in our community. So I'm here today to, to let everyone know how important it is not only to test yourself and be aware of your body, but to also take control over that which is taking control of you. It is appropriate to focus on the efforts of organizations like this and to make appeals for support in order that these organizations can have their maximum impact in areas that are so desperately needed, particularly since disproportionate health disparities don't get the kind of focus that they need to. Trying to stand up these activities and these services in your communities throughout the country. We want to take our mobile van into your neighborhoods, into your churches, to your community centers, and this GoFundMe campaign will allow us to be able to do that. So look for the link, we'll be sending it out to you, and we're asking for you to donate whatever you can to be able to heal the village, because we know that knowledge is power. So again, thank you so much for your help and, and your prayers, and let's make this thing happen.